Hey guys, there has been this massive trend recently in all the exam papers, in all the exam boards, to include some really sneaky, tricky little maths bits that we don't generally teach you in science. So last year it came up in biology, I've seen it loads and loads in physics and I've seen it loads and loads in chemistry. But there are some sneaky little maths bits that they're putting into the chemistry exams that, you know, we just, well we just don't have time to teach you in science generally because we're busy teaching you the, the science and like all the really really hard concepts. Now these aren't a hard bit of maths but if you're not expecting expecting them in a science exam. You can skip over them really, really easily. And skipping over things that are going to get you marks in a science exam, well that could be the difference between your grade boundary. That could be the difference between getting on your A-level course or not getting on your A-level course. Or getting into that fancy university that you want or not getting into that fancy university if you, that you want. So if we were aiming for those A's and those A stars, we cannot be affording to skip over anything at all. We have to be aiming for near perfection because with the way the grade boundaries are going, near perfection is what you need to get, near perfection is what you need to get that A star. So what sort of things am I talking about? We're talking about your significant figures. Yes, they do matter in science. I'm talking about standard form. This comes up loads and loads and loads. If the question's in standard form, they expect your answer in standard form, and it will say that in the mark scheme. We're talking about rounding. We're talking about anomalous figures. We're talking about calculator errors, so like rounding errors and stuff like that. You have to be perfect on all of these things. And so, so often when I'm marking, people think that they don't matter in a science exam, they just they just forget to do them and they don't do them and then they lose the marks and I'm kind of like, this is the stupidest mistake ever because I know you know this, if this was a maths exam you would have no problem with this, but because it's a science exam it's going to freak you out, so what I've done for you is produce this like really, really tiny little book, it shouldn't take you like too long to get through, maths and calculated skills of science students, you can get it over my website, or if you don't want to print it out, then you can go to my classroom channel and get um, the, the video version of it there. All of my books are available on my classroom channel. All really, really, really cheap. Um, and hopefully we can just tighten up everything and make sure we get those perfect grades for you.